health and wellness every Monday at 7 p.m. only on Tom TV. Downtown University, Jahi Mangan Biganu Adung. First, the top news headlines. Nitin Gadkari lays foundation stone for rupees 3,000 crore highway projects in Manipur. <music> Government withdraws Chief Minister's Police Gallantry Award from Tainted Corp. And India's COVID-19 tally mounts to 26,47,663 with single-day spike of 57,981 infections. Hello and good afternoon. I am Anil Samandram giving you the Times of Manipur English News. Now the news in details. In a bid to provide better connectivity in the state, Union Minister Nitin Gadkari today led the foundation stone for 13 highway projects and inaugurated a road safety project in Manipur. This is the best possible Independence Day gift for the Manipuris as these projects, will com after completion, will pave way for development through enhanced infrastructure in the state. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways informed in a statement. Chief Minister N. Birain Singh presided over the virtual function attended by MOS RTH, retired General V. K. Singh, several MPs, MLAs and senior officers from the centre and the state. The ministry's statement said that these projects carry a road length of 316 kilometres involving construction value of about Rs 3,000 crore. Paving the way for development of Manipur, these roads will enhance better connectivity, convenience and economic growth in this naughty state. Out of 13 highway projects include for learning of Imphal Moray section of National Highway No. 39 from 330 km to 350 km in Package 1, widening of two lane with hard shoulder of Churachanpur to Tuivai section of National Highway No. 102B from 0 km to 13.747 km in package 1A, widening of two land with hard soldier of Churachanpur to Tuivai section of National Highway 102B from 13.747 km to 32.835 km in package 1B, and widening of two land with hard soldier of Churachanpur to Tuivai section of National Highway 102B from 32.835 km to 48.587 km in package 2A. Manipur, you know, is a hill lock. Hai. Hill lock area hai, land lock hai, waterways nahi hai. So mainly depend karta hai, raste mein depend karta hai. So aaj jo banane ja raha hai, aapne jo uh, bhumi puja kar raha hai, ye 316 kilometers ka around 3000 crore ka hai. Aap to दुनिया भारत में आप माना जानता है आप मैन ऑफ एक्शन आप जो बोलता है वही करता है तो आपकी ये वजह से इंफाल मोरे पैकेज बाईपास भी अभी काम शुरू होने वाला है सर एक इस पॉलिसी के साथ आते हुए और जोशानपुर सिंहार रास्ता जो है वो पहले नहीं था इतना मतलब ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नहीं था मतलब रोड के कंडीशन इतना ख ओ बैकल मोमेंट का फिजिबिलिटी नहीं था लेकिन अभी बनाना शुरू किया है और पालियल सांडेल का अभी इस बार में शामिल किया है तो मेरा आपसे अनुरोध है कि ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग से लेकर अल्टरनेटिव फ्यूल तक अच्छे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के साथ मणिपुर में उद्योग व्यवसाय का विकास करते हुए मणिपुर का एक्सपोर्ट बढ़ाकर वहां की इकोनॉमी को मजबूत बनाकर एक सुखी समृद्ध संपन्न शक्तिशाली मणिपुर बनाने का संकल्प मान्य मुख्यमंत्री जी आप करिए भारत सरकार आदरणीय मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में आपके साथ है जितेंद्र सिंह जैसे अच्छे मंत्री आपके साथ जुड़े हुए हैं भारत सरकार की ओर से ये सब योजना बनाकर 
आप तो निश्चित रूप से नॉर्थ ईस्ट आगे जाएगा मणिपुर भी आगे जाएगा और हम लोग पूरी तरह इसमें आपको मदद करेंगे आप एम के लिए भी अनेक योजनाएं लेकर मेरे पास आइए वहाँ हैंडलूम है वहाँ प्योर सिल्क पोसा अच्छा बन सकता है वहाँ के कारपेट्स अच्छे बनते हैं इसमें एक स्पेशल ट्रेनिंग टेक्निकल इंस्टीट्यूट डालिए जिसके लिए मैं मदद करने के लिए तैयार हूँ इसकी क्वालिटी को सुधारिए वर्ल्ड स्टैंडर्ड के प्रोडक्ट तैयार करिए और एक्सपोर्ट करिए और वहाँ के लोगों को रोजगार दीजिए यही विशेष रूप से मेरा आपसे अनुरोध है Manipur Chief Minister's Police Award for Gallantry conferred to Sub Inspector of Imphalis Commando Baisamayum Debson has been cancelled and withdrawn as he was involved in a rupees 3 crore drug smuggling case back in 2013 according to a release from the joint secretary home an inquiry committee has been constituted headed by IGP intelligence K Radheshyam to look into the matter The release further added that Inspector E. Roshan, reader of Imphalis Superintendent of Police, has also been suspended under Rule 66 of Assam Police Manual Part 3. The inspector was given the task to make the list of police personnel who receive awards on Independence Day 2020. DGP LM Kote has ordered the inquiry committee to look into the matter and submit a report within a week's time. India's COVID-19 tally rose to 26,47,663 today with a single-day spike of 57,981 infections while the death toll crossed the 50,000 mark with 941 fresh fatalities according to the Union Health Ministry data. The recoveries surged to 19,19,842 pushing the recovery rate to 72.51%. The total number of tests for detection of COVID-19 also crossed the 3 crore mark in India, according to the Indian Council of Medical Research data. The death toll due to coronavirus infection climbed to 50,921 with 941 people succumbing to the disease in a span of 24 hours, according to media reports. The case fatality rate has declined to 1.92%. There are 6,76,900 active cases of coronavirus infection in the country. According to ICMR, a total of 3.4 million samples have been tested till yesterday with 7,31,697 samples being tested yesterday. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern today chose to delay New Zealand's national election by four weeks as the country deals with a new coronavirus outbreak in the largest city, Auckland. The election had been scheduled for September 19 but will now be held on October 17. Under New Zealand law, Ardern had the option of delaying the election for up to about two months. Opposition parties had been requesting a delay after the virus outbreak in Auckland last week prompted the government to put the city into a two-week lockdown and halted election campaigning. A total of 68 persons, 42 males and 26 females from the general population and 111 personnel from Central Armed Police Force were tested positive for COVID-19 in Manipur in the last 24 hours. The new cases were reported from VRDL's RIMS, Janims, Ras Medicity, District Hospital Churachanpur, Babina Diagnostics, Senapati DTO, Caesar Hospital and Imphal West RAT. With this, the overall case tally in the state has climbed to 4,569. The number of active cases in the state now stands at 1,921 while 2,632 have been discharged after recovery. The recovery rate in the state has increased to 57.60% according to the state COVID-19 Common Control Room. Coronavirus has so far claimed 16 lives in the state. It's now time for a short commercial break. Stay tuned. Saklon Ama Thaasigi kunthoigi numidang pung tarek makhaida miyambu harao nungay na pota hanba ngam laga daba Sagnai raba miyam gi oja tol han galo nana miyam bu ngai jiram gi Aikho gi nambar 7629943543 da call to bilo Saugrakpam heman tagalo nana ngai haak harao te yami nasi Anau ba feature sing galo nana leja re da chan ready gold Distinctive LED DRLS 20 inch 32 cm infotainment screen Smart drive auto 
स्पेशियस केविन फ्लेक्सीबल स्टोरेज केपेसिटी इंटुटिव रिवर्स पार्किंग एसिस केमेरा स्टार्टिंग प्राइस थ्री लाख बुकिंग की दम से मगलें आईलैंड निशान कांजीपुर नियर स्टैंडर्ड रोबर्ट हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल Welcome back. Chamhana Air Sterilization Purifier, a South Korean company, today donated three active air sterilization purifiers to the Health and Family Welfare Minister Langpok Lakpum Jayanta Kumar to help the government in the fight against COVID-19. A representative of Chamhana Air Sterilization Purifier handed over the purifiers to Minister L. Jayanta Kumar Singh and Medical Superintendent of COVID Care Center Lamboy Kong Nangkong, Dr. Dihe Mao. The minister appreciated the help provided by the South Korean company amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Jayanta Kumar added that such noble act will boost the morale of the doctors and other health workers and COVID patients. Leimaram Waroiching Village Chief Lechombam Maimu is upset over the statement by DPU VO Nambol Secretary TH Lamjing that entry of Leimaram Waroiching residents would be banned if the ban of on entry of Water tankers to Nambol, Oinam and Kaino is not lifted. Maimu clarified that entry of water tankers will be limited in the places to avoid more contacts. Maimu was speaking during a public meeting at the drop gate of Waroiching Road. The village chief added that there is no ban on collecting water from Waroiching but urged that the people should prevent spread of COVID-19 in the area. Narangi. Media itu hong da, ikhoy ki nampol ki isilan awal sing da pugi kampu sing OBI, ada ki praja sing OBI maduna media itu hong da ikhoy waru sing nampol sangan da bahaya bagi firia pama keluar ni na akan mau pam thambirak kuci masih di live aktif ni, lain na lain cuci ki ada ki masa masa na thinki bra surrounding asih ki aku ibu da lebi praja sing asih da ki mampu ori bah praja sing asih da ki ayah bah lawan orang kan dah sanghal aga sing lawu mata mda ikhoy ating bah mda pijat de ayi ki yum da ki darkar ori bah ahien bah pot pijat ni darkar ori da bah ahien da bah pot da ikhoy ni pijang am jadi hai bah pam ji ikhoy ni maya mda kangan jab ni a team of Jiribam District Police led by additional superintendent of police operations, A.K. Sadananda Singh seized a large quantity of illicit liquor yesterday at Gulart Hill Bazaar in Jiribam District. The team seized 22 bottles of Indian met foreign liquor and 40 litres of country liquor during the drive, according to a correspondent. Three books authored by renowned writer Lairin Lakpam Ngoba were released yesterday at Hozai. The books were Sering Iba Tamba Chatpa, Saturday Conversation for Children and Children's Wild Animal. The book launch function was organized by Writers Forum Assam, Hojai, at Jugijan residence of Haubam Krishnakumar. Notably, several short stories by Ngoba are in Assam government school syllabus. Ngoba has published 11 books so far. Besides, Haubam Krishna Kumar, representative of Manipuri Sahitya Parishad Writers Forum and other organizations also attended the event. National shooter Guru Aribam Supriya was also felicitated on the occasion. Youth Welfare Club Sagolban Thingom Lekai and Indian Red Cross Society jointly organized an awareness program on psychological effects of COVID-19 yesterday at Sagolban Thingom Lekai Community Hall. President of IRCS Manipur, Dr. Mohan, Vice Chairman Dr. K. Arun Kumar and Retired Additional Director of Direct Medical Directorate, Government of Manipur, who is also the member of the society where the resource person of the awareness program. Well, it's now time for another short commercial break. Stay tuned. Siri Siri Gaurachandraya Nama Purbasramda Akhoi Kwai Pum Nama Pukon Biramba Siri Kundrak Pam Ibo Bising Na Magi Nung Sizaraba Imung Manung Sagay Nata Yamadi Marup Mapang Kwai Pum Nama Putadok Lam Laga Hau Ki Batang Nipan Thawan Yi Kun Nipan Batang Zanamita Siri Guru Gi Kripada Ki Be So Laga Siri Biswambar Dal Saiba Nam Pang Zaduna Brindavan Prapti Oi Krey Lakli Batang Tara Hum Doi Ing Thawan Yi Kun Mari Nipan Ba Sagon Zanamita Asi Sanchay Lokha Charaga Lakli Batang Kun Mathoi Langban Ki Hum Nipan Ba Iri 
Rai Numita, Lake Hidrabagi, Strada Din Tokle, Hai River Toramasi, Covid nineteen Namaram Oraga, Emung Manu, Saginati, Kaktamak Pang Tok Jaragani, Masida Lake Hidrabaga Luina Ramba, Dinaramba, Maruma Pang Singna, Uaro Bitanaba, Nolukchari, Nolukchari Bak, Kundrak Pam, Chandrakala Devi, Amadi, Emung Manu Sing, Lairenjam, Maya Lekai. Welcome back. Councillor of Kakchin Kuno Municipal Council Ward No. 8 Kumukcham Gojendro in association with Ward members, WDC and local club volunteers distributed essential items to 300 households in the Ward. Councillor Gojendro said that the public has suffered due to the impact of the ongoing COVID-19 lockdown and curfew. He appealed to the people to strictly follow the government protocols and World Health Organization guidelines to contain the coronavirus pandemic. Mizoram's main opposition party, Joram People's Movement, GPM, has tied up with opposition congress in the least 35 villages council in the run-up to the rural and local body polls, a congress leader said yesterday. According to media reports, polling for 558 village councils in nine districts and 83 local councils within Aizol municipal area will be held on August 27. The congress leader said that the alliance was locally based and not met at the party headquarters level. He said that each unit of village council was given free hand to be tied up with any party according to the, its convenience. Meanwhile, ruling Mizo National Front Vice President Lalteng Liana launched a heating attack on GPM for allegedly backtracking from its earlier promise. Sikkim reported 19 new COVID-19 cases yesterday, taking the stat's overall tally to 1,167. The stat now has 463 active cases, the officials said. Eight of the new cases were detected among those working in the state's pharma companies, the officials further added. According to media reports, apart from them, an ITBP personnel posted in Lingdom was also found to be positive. The new cases also include three people who return from outside the state, officers further said. They have been sent to the COVID care center set up at Himalayan Pharmacy Institute in East Sikkim. Sikkim Health Secretary P.T. Bhutia said that two IT technicians who were also found to be COVID positive came from outside the state for some hardware repair work at the government office in Gangtok. After complete, completing their work, they were supposed to return to the accommodation provided to them at the railway guest house, but they went on to meet many government officials, breaking the protocol, Bhutia added. He further informed that legal action will be vested interests. The People's Chronicle. Three more die. 371 fresh cases in two days. Virus specialists infected. Local cases reach 1,221, including 427 in Infalwest. RIMS urged to prop death of COVID patient. Resigned MLAs in Delhi with Chief Minister R.K. Imo. SOPs for home isolation of COVID patients issued. Government shuddering at mere mention of drugs, says Ojoy. Don't stigmatize healthcare workers, frontline warriors, says Chief Minister. Infall Free Press. Moiva goes full throttle against Ravi. Every human life is precious, says Chief Minister Bire. And before we wind up the top news headlines once again. Nitin Gajkari lays foundation stone for Rs 3000 crore highway projects in Manipur. Government withdraws Chief Minister's Police Gallantry Award from Tented Corp. And 
India's COVID-19 tally mounts to 26,47,663 with single-day spike of 57,981 infections. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to Times of Manipur. Chabu Jehimangan Biganu. Notice India's 